So let's get to Parlay Pete's NFL six pack. The NFL fucking six. Uh, and you know, if anyone took advice from last week, we did pretty damn good. We did. We did pretty fucking good. Four and two. Uh, and the two losses were the Raiders didn't cover the spread. Gosh. And, you know, they were, they really should have covered that spread. The Giants aren't good. I got to watch them firsthand. Not a good team. And then I had the Bears money line, which was the upset of the week. And, well, we saw that the Zebras, you know, did what Zebras do. Fuck up jungles. And so. Uh, I'm so tired of this taunting nonsense, man. Get it out of here. Yeah, it, it's ridiculous. And and it co- it really did cost the Bears a game, considering it was a big comeback. But we got an excellent six-pack this week. So let's crack open that first beer. We're going to go ahead and do it. I know that everybody doesn't like this when I do it. Ooh, Falcons bet. God damn it, you, you're fucking right. We're not going to take a money line. And I didn't last week either. I actually took them on the points, even though I actually personally did bet the money line. Um, we're going to take the Falcons plus 10 and a half. So the spread is at nine as of today. So you got to buy the point and a half. But give me the Falcons 10 and a half. I don't really see them losing double digits. Uh, I think the game is going to be close. And ultimately, it's going to come down to really who has the ball last, just like it did the last time they played. And guess what, man? Man, man? The ball ass. And guess what? You give Matt Ryan nine, ten points. You like it. I love it. And more importantly, I just think the Falcons, they've been road warriors this year. They've lost one game on the road, and it was a game that they were in in the fourth quarter down three with the ball to the defending champs. I like um, them on the road. They've been – they're road warriors. I mean, they really have been playing well on the road. The London game was considered a home game, but that was a road game at the end of the uh, yeah, game. We, we've, we've not gone to a game at at, at, at the Benz and watched a, a win. They're, they're four, they're, so if we count that, they're four and one on the road this year. I like Matt Ryan in these situations. He torched them last year. I, they're better. Dan Quinn's got the, 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 the revenge angle going. And, you know, he knows a lot about Matt Ryan, but Matt Ryan knows a lot about him and how – he was picking apart probably the fucking defense in practice all those years. Um, so I think he knows exactly where to throw in that zone that uh, Quinn runs. So give me the Falcons plus 10 and a half. Next game. Let me get the over in the Kansas City Chiefs at the Las Vegas Raiders over 52. Um, typically, these games are shootouts. And the Chiefs already didn't score any points last week. And the Raiders kind of didn't score any points last week. I expect both offenses to get back on track. And for there to be points, and it's on Sunday night football, we're not going to have a defensive match between those oh, two teams. We got <laughs> so, Chris and Al? You said who? We got Chris and Al? Yeah, Chris and Al. Chris and Al. I know how much you love Chris and Al. Um, and there's nothing wrong with loving Chris and Al, you know? There's there's nothing wrong with those guys. I don't I don't know why you have such a big issue with those guys. I think that they, they call a fair game, okay? They call yeah, it a game. Unless Patrick Mahomes is playing, like, like, like Chris is going to really be, really going to be into the game. He's really going to be like rubbing Nick Mahomes up, man. I don't want to hear that shit. Man. Probably. He's like, and you see here, Patrick Mahomes, he, he leaves the NFL in turnovers, but God damn it, does this guy know how to throw that football? Look at that pass to Tyree Kill. Travis Kelsey opening the seam and he just looks the other way and throws it to Tyree Kill. Give me the over 52. I love the over uh, in that game. Uh, next game, let me get the Buffalo Bills minus 13. They had a stinker in Jacksonville. They're at the Jets. Uh, they really should walk over these guys. The Jets do suck. We saw the Colts really put it on them, and now the Bills are pissed because they're coming off of a bad game themselves. Not only that they lost, but um, they they really – this guy, this Mike White. Uh, <laughs> guy, I want to know who that is because uh, I know it's not really Matt Nagy. Unless Matt Nagy is tuned in, which if so, we appreciate it, Coach. But you're still going to be reluctant to get an offensive coordinator job next year. And so, <laughs> right. um, you, Matt, come on next week, man. We'll, we'll make room for you. Uh, exactly, exactly. And so, I do love, uh, I do love uh, the Bills minus thirteen in this game. Uh, bounce back game. I just see them doing it. And Mike White last week started. So. Uh, they're probably going to throw the ball, but the Bills are probably going to turn it over a lot, too. They're probably going to get a lot of turnovers, like, you know, force them. And so, um, next game. Let me get the Tennessee Titans money line against the New Orleans Saints. I wasn't impressed with the Saints. They might be without Alvin Kamara. The Titans are just on a roll. They're at home. Um, 
I haven't seen a Julio sighting all year. I just feel like there's got to be a game now where him and uh, – where because even in the in this game against the Rams where they controlled the entire game, the defense kind of is what did it, shockingly. And so uh, I expect Julio and A.J. Brown to kind of get off a little bit on the Saints, um, especially Julio being familiar with everybody over there. He's played against them enough in his career. Uh, the Saints are – if they, I think they're probably going to still trot out Trevor Simeon. I just don't see how the Titans get slowed down by the Saints on the road. So give me, give me the Titans. Uh, next game. Let me get the over in the Eagles Broncos game. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry, not the over. I said that wrong. The under in the Eagles Broncos game. It's at 45 and a half. Give me those odds. I love the idea of this being a defensive slugfest. The Eagles defense still isn't terrible. Um, they proved that kind of even against the Chargers. Like, that game came down to the end. I expect it to be a close game. Denver's defense is still their calling card, too. I don't see the points. 24-21 sounds about right to me, and that's right at 45. So, um, give me the under there. I just don't see the points coming in. And then for the final pick of this six-pack. Now, I'm going to make a note here because this is actually important. If Aaron Rodgers is playing, give me Green Bay money on. But – he won't be able to be cleared until Saturday. And so depending on that clear, we can throw it in anyways, but as long as he's playing, give me the Green Bay Packers money line because Russell Wilson is going to be back. And I think that the Packers know – no, no, he is going to be back. No, no, no. I was, I was doing my Russell, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go Hawks, right? Yeah, exactly. And so if if Aaron Rodgers is playing, give me the Packers in that game. I, I like them. I don't think that Russ will be acclimated to throwing – without having that sling on his hand. I know maybe he's had it off for about a week or whatever, but he still is newly surgery. And Green Bay's defense did play well against Patrick Mahomes on the road last week, and they kind of don't need to drop another game in a row. So as long as Aaron Rodgers – the Seahawks aren't good. You said what? And the Seahawks aren't good. They aren't. They're not good. And so – and and that's a kind of a rivalry match, too, for what it's worth. Kind of like how the 49ers and Cowboys are. That's like a rivalry match between those Oh, guys. yeah, because Aaron doesn't like Russell. And uh, well, they, they, just, play, they played each other enough times. The fail Mary game, the NFC Championship. There's been enough moments to where that could be considered a robbery. Did you sure. uh, did you uh, watch Aaron on McAfee this week? I didn't watch the whole thing, but I watched like ten minutes of like the whole him explaining. I watched all that for sure. Did you watch? Did you hear McAfee just like talking shit about Russell, like with the slick little? Hey, you you been in the backyard, like breaking the huddle, you know, calling the plays, going out there working the two minute drill. All right. <laughs> I didn't see it, but I, I can only imagine exactly what he was saying. But hold on. I wanted to add one more thing in case Aaron Rodgers isn't playing. Okay. So we can just add this as a bonus just because if he isn't playing, I would want you to make this pick as a part of that six-pack. Okay. Give me New England minus two and a half against the Browns. I think that Bill Belichick's got something for that ass. Um, first of all, because they're coming off the high of winning a game. Uh, do the Patriots have a winning record? They're five and yep. four, aren't they? Yep. They're five and four. They're at home. They're going to already be on a short week because they have to come here to Atlanta next Thursday. And the defense is playing a lot better. Mac Jones is clearly playing a lot better. I like New England in this game. I think that he's going to neutralize Nick Chubb. And he's going to make Baker beat him, and Baker's not going to do that. So give me Belichick over Mayfield uh, seven days out of the week and twice on Sunday. You know what? You like it. I absolutely love it. And you know, um, Bill has that – he has that beef with Cleveland because, you know, he wants coach yeah, he's there. A coach. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot more – it's a deeper – it's a deep match for him. I know it is. Like, and, and of course and – it, and it actually does mean something. So – so for our NFL six pack, we got Falcons. Uh, you're taking uh, plus ten and a half points versus Dallas. We're gonna buy a point there, right? Buy a point and a half. Buy a point and a half. We're at nine, it was it, so it opened up at ten, but it was at nine today. So uh, ten and a half though. So if we're you gonna can alternatively, or if you have to buy the point, ten and a half regardless. Buy the point, ten and a half. We got we're gonna take over fifty two in the Kansas City Las Vegas game. Mm -hmm. We're going to take the Buffalo Bills at the Jets, minus 13. We're going to take the Titans' money line against the Saints. We're going to take uh, under 45 in the Eagles-Broncos game. 45 and a half. 
45 and a half. Oops. Under 45 and a half. We're going to take uh, Green Bay on the money line if Aaron Rodgers is playing. And yeah. If Aaron yeah. Rodgers is he playing. He has to be playing. I wouldn't make the bet if he's not playing. If Jordan Love is playing, you know what? You can just go ahead and cancel Christmas, buddy. Because uh, I play. I rushing them to honestly win that game. And then uh, if if not, our extra bet, our bonus bet is uh, we're going to take New England minus two and a half versus the Browns. Yep. And and if you could, once you put it up to, you know, put that disclaimer, the Aaron uh, Rodgers. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to dive there. in the disclaimer. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. These picks were inspired to go perfect this week. I hope that I really do think I can go 12-0 and 0 with these picks this week. That's just how good I was trying to be about it. 